Our top story tonight, a McNary County church admits to defying a federal court order and says members would rather go to prison than comply. We first brought you the story about the church in Guy's last month when it was ordered to remove its sign because it violated the copyright of the International Seventh-day Adventist Church. But now the signs are back up. ABC 7 Eyewitness News reporter Mallory Cook has been following this story. She joins us now live with the latest. Mallory. A federal judge ordered the Creation Seventh-day and Adventist Church and guys to take down their signs for violating the trademark of the International Church. They refused, so the workers did it for them, but now those signs are back up. Signs at the Creation Seventh-day Adventist Church and guys are up and visible. We took a bucket of paint, we got a ladder, and we restored our signs. A federal court order allowed workers to rip down the signs last month after the International Seventh-day Adventist Organization says the church and guys violated their trademark. This is a conviction for us. This is the name that God gave us to use. Despite a problem with heights, Luke and Chantier spent five hours repainting the signs Monday. Whenever I got up there to do the signs, actually, it was a great blessing. It seemed to be completely suspended. I was able to go up there as if I'd been painting for years on ladders. And if the court removes the signs for a second time, members say they'll get right back out here and put them up once again. Members originally sported the name A Creation Seventh Day and Adventist Church to separate themselves from the International Church. But the new signs drop the A and the and. Since it hasn't done anything, we decided to go with the original name that we were given. Chatier believes he could be held in contempt of court. Our faith is such that we would rather lose our lives than compromise our obedience to God on the smallest or the largest point. The attorney for the International Seventh-day Adventist Church learned about the newly painted signs from us just today. Attorneys say they are looking into their legal options in due course via the court system. Mallory Cook, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.